and a promised land brought conquistador Don Tristan de Luna and his band of Spanish soldiers across the Gulf of Mexico to Pensacola on the coast of northwest Florida in 1559. But it took the toil of many men and women to develop that first European settlement into the Pensacola of today. A prosperous and beautiful metropolitan community of 230,000 persons, Pensacola offers industrial opportunity, vacation pleasures, and a large measure of friendliness. It is one of the brightest gems in the necklace of cities along Florida's upper Gulf Coast, known as the Miracle Strip. An attractive example of the many visitors who come to marvel at the sparkle and beauty of Pensacola is Miss Anne Harmon, arriving from New Orleans. Welcome to the city of five flags. Pensacola soil has borne the banners of Spain, France, England, the Confederacy, and the United States of America. Extending the welcome to Anne is her uncle, an antique car collector. Pensacola is endowed with one of the largest landlocked bays in the south, featuring a total of 220 miles of shoreline. <coughs> As a fishing resort, this area is among the best in the nation. The speckled trout, the cobia, the king or Spanish mackerel, bonito, grouper, snapper, bluefish. The fisherman names them and hooks them. Pensacola Bay is spanned by a four-lane bridge, U.S. Highway 98. The old bridge has been converted into the world's longest fishing pier. One of the landmarks of the harbor is the lighthouse. The lens, brought from Paris in 1824, is kept rotating during the day in order to prevent the sun's rays from starting a fire by concentrating on any one point for too long. Nature has given another unique identification to the North Bay area in the form of bright red clay bluffs caused by an unusual shift in the Earth's crust during the Ice Age. The bluffs overlook the bay where fishermen return after charter boat excursions. Marlin and other big tackle busters abound in the deep gulf waters. Not all of the fishing is confined to the sportsmen. Along the waterfront, the famed Red Snapper Fleet docks. The men who go down to the sea from Pensacola ply the gulf to the coasts of Mexico and Yucatan for the delicious catch. Demand for Red Snapper runs three times the supply, but the people of Pensacola have first option. Just before sunset, shrimp boats move into the bays and inland waters to drag their nets during the dark. Porpoise find it a field day with the discarded sea life from the shrimp boats. High on a hill, just inside the mouth of Pensacola Bay, is historic Fort San Carlos. Originally constructed by the Spanish in 1696, the fort changed hands four times in the centuries that followed. Ship 
Massachusetts at the mouth of Pensacola Bay. Tennis. Water skiing, even for the neophyte. Why you to horror? In early March, the Pensacola PGA Open Tournament is held at the Pensacola Country Club. Some touring pros have felt so much at home that they've settled here. The Doug Ford Perdido Bay Country Club is an example. A favorite with local fans for several years during the PGA Tournament has been Arnold Palmer. Local golfer Downing Gray in blue sweater was runner-up in the 1960 National Amateur Championship. For the indoor sportsmen, there are the modern bowling alleys, where the rafters ring from strikes and spares. There is culture, too. Thespians have many opportunities to tread the boards at the Little Theater. For the lovers of serious music, the Pensacola Symphony Orchestra has much to offer. Pensacola's Art Center was once the city jail. Artists and art lovers enjoy the unique atmosphere. Square dancing is popular, and hundreds of enthusiasts are organized in clubs which meet regularly. Greyhound Park is one of Florida's most modern tracks. Here, some of the world's fastest greyhounds race nightly from May to September. The modern track has an air-conditioned, glass-enclosed clubhouse, where fans can view the entire action from comfortable individual tables. of Pensacola's charm is in its architecture. The homes of the community display a variety of influences from antebellum to ultra-modern. Some prefer the vine-covered cottage. Others insist on a home over the water. The old site of the Spanish Fort San Bernardo on the highest point in the area is now completely covered by four residences. Flowers and trees complement the buildings. North Florida gardens are prettiest in March and April when the azaleas and dogwood are in full bloom. was constructed in 1869 as a Swedish-Norwegian consulate office and now serves as the Scottish Rite home. The Pensacola City Hall and Post Office shows Spanish architectural influence. Some of the most beautiful construction is found in the houses of worship. There are almost 200 churches in the Pensacola area caring for the spiritual needs of 30 different denominations. The oldest Protestant church building in Florida is Old Christ Episcopal Church constructed in 1832. It is preserved as a museum by the Pensacola Historical Society. Containing 58,000 volumes, the Pensacola Library grows at the rate of 600 new books each month. In the field of learning, Pensacola is proud of its junior college. With an enrollment averaging 3,000, it is the second largest in the state of Florida and the first junior college in the nation with a nuclear reactor in its physics laboratory. The influx of visitors has encouraged the professional hosts. Many luxurious modern motels offer a wide choice of accommodations. Oh, wow. In Pensacola is never more evident than during the Fiesta of Five Flags. Calling attention to the community's unique role in American history, the Fiesta usually continues for five days and features pageants, social and cultural events, and other entertainment highlights.
During the fiesta, the descendants of the Creek Indian tribe gather to celebrate and perform for visitors on Santa Rosa Island.